Hello and welcome to the Valley today. I am your host, Janet Michael. It is Tourism Tuesday, Winchester Frederick County edition. Justin has not taken me to a farm. Thank you, Justin. No, there's no farm. This is <laughs> nice environs here. Nice yes, environs. it's a little chilly outside yes. to be walking around the pasture. So I appreciate you accommodating me during the colder temperatures. Yes, yeah, a little dusty, but there's a good reason for that. <laughs> but a, it it's is cool the dust. coolest it's background. Cool dust. We're going to have to take it a selfie dust. with all yes. of these pinball yeah. machines yes. in the yes. background. Yes. So we're sitting downtown on the old town walking mall in downtown Winchester at back to the media cool place when you walk in the front door yes and then you sneak a peek behind the curtain and it gets mm -hmm. infinitely more cool yeah we are getting a kind of behind the scenes most people can't do this so when you walk in the store don't go through <laughs> the back unless they tell you you can we're just getting a special sneak preview in here of the cool things that they are doing and if you've been watching them on social media you have an idea right of, of what they're doing but if you don't know what we're talking about then we get to learn about it now it's a really cool thing they got going on. Yeah, it's awesome. We're sitting here with Mark and Danny Canoles. They are the owners of Back to the Media. Thank you guys for taking some time this morning to chat with Justin and I. I know when Absolutely. he reaches out to people, I'm never really sure what he tells them. So I'm never really sure how <laughs> prepared you are for what's about no, to happen. No, thank you for having us. Thank you for having us. So let's start with why? <laughs> that's exactly. A good that's, yeah, that's, I ask myself that every day. Why? Why? Was Why? this his thing that you bought I, into? I always give him my blessing. I'm yeah. like, you know what you're doing. Even though I may question it, I just say, Jesus, take the wheel. There you go. <laughs> She's always been a, a big part of the business. We've been a store for 10 years now, actually coming up on our 10th year this fall. We've had this extra space in the back of the store and basically wanted to do something special with it. So we decided to do like a retro arcade in the back. Instead of using it for storage, we're going to put a bunch of great games back here and let the public come it's in here. It's a big room for be storage a... just to put stuff. So we're like, yeah. why don't we just make another really cool An entertainment like an spot. Entertainment. Right, yeah. And then they have to visit the store to get to the arcade. So it's kind of like a win-win getting more visitors from close and far. So you've been in business for nearly 10 years, but you've not yes. been in this location here on the walking well, mall the that walking long. walking mall, it's going to be our fifth year. Okay. So we started actually in Williamsport, Maryland. It was our very first store in 2013. We started there and it took us a while to figure out where we wanted to be. And then once we found Old Town Walking Mall, this has just been our home and plans to be our home forever now because everything just works down here. When you're first starting a business like ours, you don't really know in the beginning what works and what doesn't work. And so in the beginning, we played it safe because we weren't sure what to do. But as time has progressed, it's like, this is a great idea. We just got to put it around where there's some people. Make it easy for people. Yeah. Winchester this has always been my top choice, but I was too afraid to open here because of just things costed more to rent down here than it did where we first began. But once we learned, hey, this idea does the work. Perks. Yes, the perks. Many people don't know, but we actually had a store in Winchester in 2015 over on Paper Mill Road. I know. You, right around from you, Buffalo Wild You guys Wings. look confused. What? Okay. That's because the no one knew about us. But we tried it, and again, there was no foot traffic. So once yes. we found the walking mall here in 2018, which was actually my first choice, but there was no spots available when we had looked originally. So then we went on Paper Mill, and we did about a year at Paper Mill. We thought about the mall. We thought about the Apple Blanc Mall. We thought about the mall. Uh, you gotta crawl before you walk, I guess yeah. you could say. Yeah. And uh, so once we found our first store here in 2018, which is actually right across from where we're at right now, it was Altamira a smaller yeah, yeah, yeah. company yeah. is where we so, were. Yeah, right on the yeah. corner right yeah. here. And we and outgrew that space. And for we those of us that, that have been yes. here since the earth was cooling, as my friend <laughs> Kelly Walker says, <laughs> it used to be Johnson's Jewelry Store. Yes. yes. Correct, yeah. I, yeah. That's that's the we I'm dating myself now. Yes. Somebody came in and would sit in the back. I can work on yeah. We'll have customers come in that would tell us the history of it. I yeah. love hearing. Well, this location yeah. is ideal when you're talking about foot traffic, a right. because yeah. it's the walking yeah. mall, so right. it's yeah. built for foot traffic. It's right. friendly. You yeah. have a parking lot right across the street. Yep. You have a parking yep. lot at the end of the mall, which is a stone's throw from the end of the mall where Hideaway and everything and you got else a is. Shop right here. You've got yeah. the yeah. coffee shop, yeah. and you've yeah. got yeah. the splash pad it's, in the summer. It's great. It can't get any better. There wasn't a lot of spaces available even then, but we found just one little spot right there and we were like we're gonna try to make this work until something bigger opens Got up your toe and, then, yeah. and when Janie closed here when Janie closed here we were talking one day and she's thinking about retiring and I'm like I need more like, space and that's how it became <laughs> now how and, quickly did you fill it because you were coming from a much smaller space into a much larger space actually because we had stores prior to this that were a little bit bigger than the 2018 store so I had all this stuff in storage ah. so like by the time I was able to get into this big store I already had enough stuff to fill it up almost I was like finally <laughs> I can get the stuff out that's been boxed up for five years. Not to mention, we had already had the plans to move in here, but then the fire happened. Yeah, oh, fire. that's right. I remember like, the whole process. This is, this yeah. is 
not gonna happen. <laughs> but it was a blessing in disguise because yeah. we got new lighting out front, we got new flooring, we got all these new things that improved the spot. When we're talking about the stuff that you had to yeah. move in, tell people what they can expect when they walk in the front door. What kinds of things do you have here? We celebrate pop culture from all the eras, so you can expect to find retro video games to new video games, comic books, old to new. Funko Pops, vinyl records. We do a lot of business with record sales and trading, buying, selling. We also do CDs and tapes and movies and pretty much any kind of media related. Physical media. Physical media related content. That's how the name Back to the Media started. It's basically taking you back to the days of physical media. The, the best oh, no, age. The, the best, best age. age. Yeah, I'm sorry, the best age. Yeah. <laughs> we live in what we like to call a digital age and everybody streams and knows all that stuff now. But Sometimes people just aren't into that. Some nostalgia kicks in. They'd like to have the physical copy of where you can hold it in your hand. Yes. Yeah. yeah, I'm still the person that reads books. I don't right? do the Kindle. Yeah. I don't do I any. The, I, I, I gotta have, Kindle, have a book. But there's nothing like turning a page. Right. And there's a huge market for that. There are a lot of us Gen Xers. Yeah. A lot of boomers. A lot <laughs> yeah. even Gen Z now yeah, yeah, yeah. are Absolutely. really interested in yes. what it was like when their parents Absolutely. were growing up. Yeah. They're yeah. basically playing the records that their parents listened to, but then they're adding. And some of these new artists that are putting new records out on vinyl. Lane. Yeah, who do and you see coming in? Who's your audience? A little sure. bit of literally everybody. everybody. I can't really pinpoint it because it's everybody. I sold some CDs to like, she was probably 14 or 15 the other day. She's buying CDs and I was like, you got a CD player? And she's yes, I got a CD player in my car. And she was all about it. And then one of our employees actually has a six disc CD she's changer. Nice. Yeah. She don't want to sell her car because it's got that six disc That's changer. That's why I it. bought the car. Bought our seven year old daughter, <laughs> she knows how to take a record out of the sleeve and put it onto our turntable. Oh, my kids do too, yeah. Yeah, my kids like, do she, too, yeah. She knows. Sounds the better that way. Yeah. Well, you feel more connected to the music, I think, sure. when particularly when you're talking about albums. Absolutely. Because yeah. you are creating that as you're pulling it out of the it's sleeve and you're putting yes. it on. It's, you're actually connected to it versus hitting a button on your phone and suddenly yeah. the music is coming and out. It's a playlist that's, that's exactly of right. just a yeah. bunch of similar sounding songs right. together. And an artist used to, and I guess they still do, but definitely the older albums, they were created as an album. So you yeah. listen to the songs in sequence through the album. Through the album. So there's a lot of patience and involved mm -hmm. in there and there's you, you know understanding yeah. and feeling the music well there was a lot of work that went into be. them i'm thinking in particular yeah. with the beatles oh, there were like, books yeah. Yeah. that were incorporated into yeah. the album covers yes. that you would pull out yes. and it would yeah. have images and graphics yes. and yes. stories and about band posters. members yeah. all of those yeah. things yeah. Yeah. it's yeah. like a moment the kids these days they say it's a vibe you know it's a, it's a vibe, <laughs> and it like, is a vibe. And you, you open up the like the gatefold and uh, you know, as you said the, the liner notes and the lyrics you can read the lyrics and along. the art is fun yeah. jacket sometimes and... back in the day even like the record would make an image as you rolled it out and stuff like the, yeah. the jacket yeah. would and, Simple um, Minds is that, this is one of my like golden moments here, but like the Simple Mind album, when they designed the cover, they shot the pictures in different positions. And I have all four pressings of the same <laughs> album because when you put them together, it makes the one big image. Makes a giant image. Yes. Nice. And I discovered that one day. Because <laughs> yeah. I'm like, why do I have two or three, why do I have three or four copies of this? And I was laying them down. And then it dawned on you. It the image like came puzzle. into focus. Yeah. yeah. I'm like, how neat is that? Yeah. That yeah. back then they thought to do something like mm -hmm. that. Yeah. The and creativity. You were telling Justin and I before we started recording that you do a, a, an auction. You do a live yes. Yes. record Every auction Saturday. on your Facebook page. Tell me about those. Yeah. So basically in 2020 when the COVID pandemic was going on, we started going live on our Facebook page because we had, I think, I, close I think our doors. To, yeah, we had to close our we doors for a couple be of weeks open. because of the pandemic. And so we've been brainstorming, I guess you could say, on ways to... Still get music to the people. Still get, yeah. Because we needed it even more and during exactly. the pandemic. Yeah. They're at home. They need something to do. I would like so. to say that your auctions exceeded our monthly data on some of our vacations that we went on because my wife <laughs> would be watching <laughs> your live streams and yeah, I'm yeah. like, babe, your stream, like, we yeah. don't have this much data. Like, you exceeded, We're thank you, you exceeded anymore. our... Yeah. <laughs> exactly. So I, I think it was just like, like one random night, we were like, let's just try to go live on our Facebook page and see if anybody shows up. It's probably a hot mess, but we're gonna <laughs> yeah, try it. Yeah, and we were scared. I remember being so nervous, like <laughs> trembling, not being on camera and stuff. You just, you're not used to these types of things. And like, then, where do I look? <laughs> I think the first night we had 30 viewers or something, putting records on auction and then doing buy it nows. It, it actually worked and like 30 people showed up the one week and 
I forget when we sold, and I don't have any records, but it was like, it was a nice box full of records. I was yeah. like, oh, that was pretty easy. I we, was were like, we were happy. Know, and, we were like, okay, yeah, this is good. Yeah, it helped pay the rent that month, just that one show. So then the following week, we came back and then there was like 40 to 50 viewers. And then the following week, there were 60 some viewers. And then and people 80 were like, are you going to continue to do this? Yeah, because we really then, enjoy these. And we're like, so. is this yeah, something yeah. And then that? Before we knew it, we had 120 plus viewers every single week. Everybody was quarantined. So everybody was home and they wanted to support our business in any way they could. They were buying records and we started shipping records across the whole country. I would pack them in my kitchen. Um, yeah, I had it all spread out. I put and... on Pink Floyd <laughs> yeah. and I would just pack. It would take a few hours, but we would clean them sleeve them. Get well, them that was something else you were so excited. You were telling Justin and I that you are 100% sure that you have now shipped records to every, every single state, state in, in the country. United, yeah. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> every single state. Yeah. Every we're, single state. Yeah. We've done some rough math and it's about 40 to 50,000 records we've shipped wow. nationwide. And how do you get them? <laughs> do you pick them up at yes. auctions? Do people yep. bring them in? Will you buy from it's, people? It's a little Everything. bit of both. Literally, like, yeah. a lot of the collections we acquire are from people just coming in the store, and they say, hey, I got a couple hundred records. Would you be interested? And I'm like, yes. Would you like to bring them in? They either bring them to the store, or we'll go to their house. And we'll make a house if call. If it's a large collection, like somebody's family member has passed on, and they have right. this massive record collection, that's what yeah. we had. It was a whole house full. Yeah. Wow. Like, Literally bought, like, a house of records. Yeah, we House bought, of wax is what we called it. <laughs> yeah, it's, I've had some crazy stories. Like, we just picked up 5,000 records out of a house about a year ago. We had to make a couple trips to, to the property. I literally bought a tractor trailer full of records once. What? Yeah, this is the craziest story. And, there, and for anybody that's interested in this story, you can YouTube back to the media. We have a whole YouTube video of when I bought this trailer full of records. And it literally was... It was uh, from Las Vegas. It was the from trailer? Las Vegas. <laughs> yes. And but you got to go to Vegas. Yeah, yeah. Right. Well, basically, they, a gentleman up in West Virginia purchased these trailers on, at an online auction. And he wanted just the trailers. He just wanted them just for the trailer. He didn't want the contents. He didn't want the contents, right. And he said they, they shipped them across country from Vegas to here. He gets the trailer, throws the door up, and it's boxes and boxes of records. And he's like, what am I going to do with all this? <laughs> and so they called us. And I thought it was such an interesting opportunity that I just took a camera with me. And we had just started our YouTube channel. And we're just going to grab some records. Yeah, I was going to grab some. Because like, at the time, we were still in the smaller store here in the mm. walk-in mall. We didn't have this bigger store. But I had a bigger picture in mind. So I was like, maybe one day we'll get a bigger store, which we're in now, which is great because we have the room for everything now. But back then, I went out, took my camera. I shot a whole YouTube video. It says, we bought a tractor trailer full of records. I think it's got 40 to 50,000 views now <laughs> oh on the YouTube video. It, there was a period of time um, where it'll blow up and we'll get all these comments. People yeah. find it again. Yeah. 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 Like this, now, you're yeah. talking about it on and the radio, so that. people are gonna yeah. go. This one, we're like, yeah. this was two years ago. There's a part two, <laughs> yeah. oh, look, we have it all. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so we went out there and I originally didn't know what I could do. Like, he wanted to get rid of the whole thing. And then he ended up saying that the trailer was in worse condition than what he was hoping for anyway. So, so we gave you the whole trailer and so everything? So we worked out a deal to buy the entire tractor trailer with the contents in it. So you've got and, the storage along got, with the contents. Correct, there there, yes. were, there so, was furniture in there. Yeah, we had to get that some of that out. And family and photos. Family heirloom, oh, wow. uh, heirlooms. Which, come um, to find out, the family that the photos were are family friends of his parents. No. -uh. Yeah. So that was and a crazy live, and turn of events. Vegas. And <laughs> so, yes, and I found the one of the kids on Facebook and I was oh like, is God. this you? You're giving me goosebumps. Triplets, crazy, they were triplets story. born in the 70s in Vegas. And yes. the fam the parents worked for the casinos there. Wow. Yes. So and do you still do the auctions now on your Facebook? We do, yes. every Saturday night yes. at 7.30. Yes. So people can set a, yep. a reminder in their phone. Yes, we stream live right from the Back to the Media Facebook page every Saturday at 7.30. Yeah. Let's take a break. We come back. Let's talk okay. about all the other stuff. Does that work? Perfect. Sounds good. Sounds great. Justin Perfect. is just enthralled here. Yeah, no, I'm just enjoying the story. Yeah. We're going to take a quick break. When we come back, we're going to continue our conversation. We are recording Tourism Tuesday in advance. We are sitting at Back to the Media on the Old Town Walking Mall in downtown Winchester. Justin Kearns, of course, is here with me along with Mark and Danny Canoles. They are the owners of Back to the Media. Go find them on Facebook right this minute. And we're going to come back and talk more with them in just a couple of minutes. Don't let a cringy DJ ruin your wedding day. Celebrate confidently instead with Summit Events Co., the premier entertainment company in the Shenandoah Valley. Summit Events is serving 200 couples a year with five-star reviewed DJs, photo booths, 360 booths, live music, and more. You can celebrate confidently with Ben Savory, Summit Events founder and chief party officer who was just named the Top of Virginia Entrepreneur of the Year. Don't risk your wedding. Book a professional at summiteventsco.com. That's summiteventsco.com and on Instagram at Summit Events Co. Welcome back 
to the Valley today. I am your host, Janet Michael. It is Tourism Tuesday, Winchester Frederick County edition. Justin Kearns is here with me. We are at Back to the Media on the Old Town Walking Mall in downtown Winchester. Mark and Danny Canoles are here with us. They are the owners. We talked a good bit in the first segment about how you guys got here, your journey to this beautiful new space. We talked a lot about records and didn't even mention that Record Store Day is just around the corner on April 20th. Very yeah. true. April 20th, our doors open at nine o'clock. And for those that don't know, Record Store Day is a huge event for independent record stores to participate in. There's exclusive releases that come out just on this day only, and you can only get them at your local affiliates that are in the Record Store Day program. We are in the Record Store Day program, and it's always a great time. We have a lot of sales and a lot of exclusive records. You can't get these records at Target. You can't get them at Best Buy. You can't get them at any big box stores. You have to go to your independent record store. A little indie record shop. Yeah. It's a day for us to shine. There's an independent bookstore day that Christine at Winchester yeah. Book Gallery oh, also cool. yeah. participates in. I love that there are those types of I'm things. I'm going to have yes. to check that out. You have people lined up. Like you were showing us photos. They yeah. are lined Down up, clean down to yeah. the end of the mall it's, and around it's Pork crazy. Street. Every, Our people show up yeah. every year. <laughs> every event that we do, it usually gets bigger and bigger. And yeah. this is the biggest one we've ever done. Like We're we, going all out this yeah, year. Yeah, we've ordered the most product that we've ever ordered before. Because what happens is they put out a list of, let's say there's 500 titles, and then we always ask our customer base what they'd like us to carry. And we usually make some posts on our social media, what would you guys like to see from this year's lineup? And then everyone puts their re requests in, and then we try to order everything that everybody wants. We've had the most requests ever this time. So we're gonna have the biggest selection ever this time. Which so, is crazy. Yeah, it's gonna be great. We expect it to be a really big day for us. We're yeah. going to have to use a whole table. We're thinking we're going to have to clear the comics <laughs> yeah, and for that day. day. Just yeah. and, and to make we're going to have everything. so many. But people do. They line up. You've seen these pictures. They're all the way down the mall, down it's, around the corner over there. They um, camp out. Do people get yeah. here the night before sometimes? And they're coming from the all over. You were telling yeah. us, yeah. too, that Dakota, people from Missouri. other states, yeah, they're yeah. traveling Ohio. here. Yeah. Destination <laughs> business. I would never question your judgment, Justin. Oh, <laughs> well, yes, I do. I question your judgment every time you tell me who we're going to have. But Hanley Regional Library. When we did the show years ago and you brought on the archivist for Hanley Regional Library, and I could not wrap my head around how that was tourism related until she came on and talked about the number of people that traveled to this area yeah. because they're researching their genealogy. So they they're coming to everywhere. Winchester oh, to yeah. spend yeah, yeah, time yeah. here because That's they have so relatives cool. that used to live here yeah. or live nearby. Yeah, this absolutely. is the same type of tourism mm -hmm. thing yep. because people are coming here yes. to get the things that you have yes. for sale. And they're not going to come in five hour drive and then come to the store and then turn around and, and drive leave. back. Right. They're right. going to hang they're around. Chicago. Right. One, yeah. of our, one of our viewers here. came from Chicago. He flew here from Gosh. Chicago yeah. to come into the store and yeah. was like, yeah, I'm going to Japan in a couple weeks. Do you guys want anything? And I'm like, yeah, yeah. Take us with you. That's what we That's want. What we, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, they visit all the other businesses when they come to see us. And we promote Union Jacks and all the different We tell them to go down see here. every record store day. I always tell everybody after you've waited in line and you've gotten your records, go down and see our friends at Hideaway. They've got the best coffee right. and pastries right. And around. cocktails. And yeah. cocktails. Right. I'm, I'm getting a sandwich right after this. Uh, hey, got I almost got a coffee yeah. old-fashioned before yeah. I came here this morning, Listen. but I thought that might be a bit much. Even <laughs> right. though it's a Friday morning as we're recording, I thought Friday morning you can have Their some Christmas booze, treat cake latte that they had last year during Christmas. It I is got a couple times. And oh, I'm yeah. like, yeah. You're going to have even more people, I think, from a tourism perspective mm -hmm. that are going Going to plan their vacations around coming to this arcade yeah, yeah, when exactly. you get it open. Yeah, this is yeah, an yeah. absolute destination that's, for a lot of people. And it's great because <laughs> there's everything here. They right. can come in and they want yeah. to go get something to eat. There's tons right. of restaurants around here. So and... what are you thinking this room's going to look like? Yeah, and when are you thinking it's going to look I like that? Excited. Yeah, so the, so the arcade, uh, my main goal, I want it to feel and look like the 80s when you walk back in here. We're going to have the lights off. It's going to be black lights. It's going to be neon lights. All the games are going to be on and making their sounds and flashing and everything's ready to play. As soon as you walk back here, we're not even going to have the curtains here anymore, but they're just going to be open and, and the lights are going to be off. It's going to be like a cave back here, but it's going to be like stepping back in time. But it's going to be all neon and, yeah, and, and bright fun, colored. Yeah, and exciting. And, just... and it's hard to see that right now, but I got the vision in my mind because we're, we're still <laughs> oh, in production. I can see, I can totally see it. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Totally it. We want people to have the same response when they walk in the front of the store and they see an original Nintendo or an Atari, yeah. when they walk into this oh, yeah. room, we want them to have the same flash of nostalgia. Right. Oh my gosh, 
I played this yeah. at so and so when I was oh, little. Yes, yeah, so right. when you pulled back that curtain and we walked back here, the first thing that popped into my head is I felt like, and I don't know how many people are listening that are local to Winchester, even though it's not really Winchester. I walked in this room and was immediately transported to Ridgeway Roller Rink. Yes, yeah. And yeah. they had a room in the back of oh, the yeah. skating rink. Mom and Dad yeah. would drop us off every Friday evening right on, and yeah. we <laughs> would skate for hours and yep. they had an arcade where yeah. we would play the pinball machines. That's what this reminds me of, yes. although I'm grateful yeah. that at my age I don't have to put skates on now oh, to okay. participate <laughs> in this, so thank you for that. <laughs> and this is really cool because so many arcades now are, like you walk in, you go to the shore, you go wherever it is, and the arc- right. they call it an arcade, but it's just yeah. the claw machines. It's, it's just claw yeah. machines. Like it's 35 or claw right. machines. Wind tickets. Right. And yeah. Or right it's now. tech stuff. Yeah. This isn't yes. the yeah. tech yeah. of today. We're going this, back. It, we want point. the originals. Yeah. We want people to have access yeah. to the originals. Like not, Pac-Man. Yes. Like Pac-Man, yes. Not got, the new stuff that's out now. We've been very meticulous on the games that we're getting. Like Super I got, selective. You know, you'll see Pac-Man, Miss Pac-Man, Tron, Space Invaders. We've, we've Mortal Kombat. Mortal Kombat, Donkey Kong is a game that we have. Mario Brothers, the original arcade, we have that too. Nice. Star Wars, I got an early 80s Star Wars arcade. It's really cool. And then the pinball machines, we just got ourselves an Adams Family pinball, which is, it's probably hailed as like one of the top pinball machines of the 1990s. We just got Adam's Family. We got Twilight Zone. I am fairly certain games. I have played Hurricane on a pinball Hurricane's machine. Hurricane's really yeah. cool. I am yeah. almost sure that I have played we that Hurricane, pinball machine. Hurricane, Fishtails. We have uh, Pinbot. Pinbot, yeah. We've got a lot of great stuff. So we're going to have the pinball Simpsons. machines and arcade. <laughs> the Simpsons right there. Yeah. Pretty excited um, about this. I got a Ninja Turtles arcade. We have nice. a Monday Night um, Football pinball. Monday Night what? Football pinball machine. It is machine. so mean. It's, it's folded right, up over yeah, there on the corner right, right there. there. <laughs> I got a Batman Forever pinball yes. folded up there. It's the got corner. a referee on the top um, with his hands up. And then, then we do have a couple new pinball machines too, just to keep it fresh. We got a new Foo Fighters and the new Venom <gasps> machine. It's going to be put back here. So we plan to have mostly retro arcades, but we will have a couple new pins in the mix as well to keep it fresh and exciting and the atmosphere my biggest focus has just been the atmosphere that's Mm -hmm. what i want it to be dark and fun and just feel like a different like an escape now the the escape you walk in the back and it's a now now the cool concept now i am going to miss lining up the quarters i am we talked about this (laughs) if you're old enough listening to this you remember lining up your quarters breaking the chain right right. Right. you're not going to do that you just go in it's going to be like a wristband or a hand stamp you'll pay one price it's going to be super affordable ten dollars usually to play we'll do little bundles Um, for a family if mom and dad come in with some kids we'll make it work to everybody but then it'll just be free play and then everything's going to be on free play yeah Yeah, they can come in here and spend the whole day here so then i could in theory rent this yes. space yes. and so host a party, party. and get yeah. together. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So we've been talking Absolutely. about doing that too. And we actually have a kitchen back here and everything that people yeah. could use. No, you you could don't. Yeah, a yeah we have a full kitchen, kitchen right with a fridge. Yeah. 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 We, we have a, we have a sweet little to. toaster <laughs> oven that does what all these do different things. Right. Yeah. Some nuggets. So I don't know. There's, <laughs> there's a full kitchen back here. Um, awesome. we would, I have a coffee maker. I have an espresso. We would have ideas to maybe sit out some folding tables or something if someone wanted to have a little party. Maybe rent it for a few hours in the evening or something to do something. So we're talking about that too. That's on the plate. What kind of timeline are we talking about? Because We're, these games are in various stages, various stages of operability. Of, of dusty, yes. Very <laughs> correct. Yeah, very correct. And the funny thing is that they're dusty right now because we just had this all painted, so they were doing like sand, uh, sanding. On oh the yeah, walls drywall and stuff. is dirty. drywall dust. So some of that's still in here. We got to do a lot of cleaning. So we still got a lot of work to do, but we are hoping for April or May whenever we get this open. So, okay, so not then, terribly far away. Just not of 2025. 2024. Not 2025. Okay, no, no. But, it but seems intimidating, originally... but once yeah. you take a look at every single thing that needs done, it's just a few little things here and there. Some machines need right. more work than others. <laughs> right. Oh, yeah. And then but... honestly, when the day that we actually do open, we might not even be 100%. Like we... Do but a that's... soft open. My advice to you would be wait till after Apple Blossom. There, yeah, that's true, too. <laughs> yeah, that's very true, too. Well, and, and yeah. I tell him, I said, you don't have to have everything done because what's fun about coming to an arcade is when you come New in the next time and there's stuff. something different yes. yeah. See, and oh that game right. wasn't here the last time and it gives people a reason to keep coming back and keep checking us out because we're always going to keep and you rotating. have a really stuff. good yeah. inventory so you're yeah. going to yeah, be yeah. able That's, to do that you're yeah, talking my, about your garage, my garage. <laughs> we also just bought 50 pinballs yeah we actually yeah that was literally just, just to put on top of all everything <laughs> literally else going on. it was an estate yeah so that's a whole other story there we basically made the announcement that we're 
doing this arcade and then we had a very nice lady up in Gettysburg, Pennsylvania. Again, folks, we'll travel anywhere to buy anything yes. for the most part. Yeah. We traveled to North Carolina to buy a Tempest arcade this yes. summer. The old <laughs> yes. Tempest. Yeah, yes. very cool. We've gone and, to Ohio. Uh, this lady in Gettysburg said she had an estate of pinball machines and uh, we actually shot a YouTube video. We're going to upload yeah. that on our YouTube it, channel. They were her dad's. Their house was the place. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Back in the day. And, and see, people so. that have family <laughs> members that have collected these yes. want other people to play them. To enjoy they them. don't they want them to, to sit in a it's room. It's the legacy of the people who previously owned them, right. and Very they're coming true. and yeah. they're seeing other people get joy like their family and members exactly. did. And again, like we went there to get those, and obviously we don't have room for 47 pinball machines, but there was a bunch of great ones that we are going to be putting in here. Phantom and then of we're the gonna Opera. To, yeah, oh. then we're learning to work on them more, and Beautiful. it's been like a great learning curve of doing all this. And Thinking uh, of what your adjoining you know. stores are on either side that you're going to... You can knock down and take over. Can we grow some more? Yeah. I'm actually talking yeah. to the ladies can at the dance Can we take out a wall here? Are there apartments yeah. upstairs? Can we go, can we, uh, yeah. I actually can we go vertically with yeah. it? Yeah. I talked to the ladies next door at the dance studio. She's like, we're currently using that one spot, but if it ever becomes available, we can put a walkway through here. We can have this little dance <laughs> studio. The poor like, more game. Yeah. My mind's always working like that. He's but, always uh, thinking ahead. Really cool. yeah. He's so, living in 2025 uh, over awesome. here. Yeah, basically. So You're like Tron. You're a real life Tron living in the future. It's crazy like that. We just try to do something that really not many people else out there are doing and we just want it to be really special that's we our focus and that's something my drive. else really cool to the yeah. area and the whole idea of it is it's, it was just literally just a storage room a year ago now it's going to come to life and be something different and be another part of the business and i get customers in here all the time you think anybody's going to put a quarter in these games it's about the atmosphere our main focus on this is to get people just to visit our shop in general I'll know the name back to the media They'll come to Winchester, see what we do, visit the other stores in the area. And as I said, it was literally just a storage room. Now it's going to be something different. It's just going to be another accessory to what we already do. Everyone has to walk. It's an extension. Yeah, everyone oh, yeah. has to walk through our retail store to get to the arcade. So yeah. they'll see all the products that we carry. And then even if they're not inter interested in those products, they might know somebody that has yes. these products to right. sell. Right. Or, it's a great right. gift someone. place. Even yeah. if you're yeah. not yeah. into any of that, we yeah. all know somebody that is. And I get people in here all the time. They're like, I don't like records, but do you guys buy them? I'm like, yeah. And they're like, my Uncle Charlie's got 200 records. And I'm like, that keeps us going. <laughs> yes. this type and they're of like, thing. what kind and do you buy? I said, okay. yeah, everything, everything you see right. here. I've had, I've had people <laughs> peek through these curtains and they're like, you guys pick pinball machines? I'm like, what do you got? You know, like, yeah. And so yeah. not only are we buy, sell, trade, that's what we do, but we're also buying for the arcade project. And then in general, like from these 47 pinball machines, they wanted us to buy them all or none type thing. So we ended up buying them all. We're keeping the ones we want for the arcade. We're selling some of the ones to re recoup our investment. And, because uh, people like to have them in their like homes, in them. their basements. Yeah. Yeah. Basement. Exactly. We and we've already basement. sold five yeah. or six from the yeah. collection already. They're so that, much cooler than air hockey you know, games and pool tables. I'm they really are. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> right so, and I say that yeah, as someone who yeah. literally right now has a pool table and an air hockey game in my basement <laughs> that has not so, been touched since my well, kid left for college 15 years ago. And you can't move it. And I can't move it, yeah funny that you say that because we actually got a couple of our pinballs from that yeah parents were like listen we bought this as a christmas gift for our kids yeah. and now our kids are we're empty now yeah. and yeah. we're not gonna play this no. so tell me what your address is here where can people physically find you we are at 48 south loudon street Winchester, Virginia, right here at Old Town Winchester Walking Mall. Yep. And what are your hours? We are open Monday through Saturday, 11 to 7, and then Sundays, 12 to 6. How can they find you online? Is there a website? You mentioned um, YouTube, yes. Facebook. Give me all this. So we do have a website, www.backtothemedia.com. You can search us on YouTube, Back to the Media. And we have, I think, over 4,000 subscribers on YouTube right now. We hope to have more content up. That's just been another thing. Keeping up with all that, with all the projects we're already doing. <laughs> we're on um, Facebook. It's just YouTube. Yeah, we're on Facebook, yeah. We back. have over 20,000 on Facebook. Yeah, wow. 20, over 20,000 followers on our Facebook account. The search Back to the Media, Instagram, Back to the Media. We are all over social media and i will put links to all of those i'll go do the searching yeah, for please. people no, that sure. are listening and when you go to the valley today podcast.com on the show notes page for today's show i'll have all of those links so they can just click like click like click subscribe great. and great. call it a day great. and you guys are always fun we love coming in here my family loves coming in the Thank kids you. love yes. coming in and you always have something turned on somewhere one of the yeah, kids yeah. can play <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, so yeah, that's we have cool. little tester consoles out there mom and dad are looking at the records the kids <laughs> can play on the you know the thing you guys have some pokemon 
Pokemon cards here. Oh, yeah, I think, yeah, yeah. yeah like it's, it's yeah. cool. Like, like, our whole family can, loves it. They it's can go a good back to the arcade to and play family. too. Yeah. And you guys oh, are yeah. always super shopping. nice. It's like here while we dig in records, go in the back and, and have some play a game yeah. on, right? Yeah. Yeah. Simpsons. Yeah. 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 There you go. Thank you for allowing Justin and I to come invade your space. No, Ooh, space invaders. Space invaders would be a fun one. What was the one that was the circle? Was it Gallagher or whatever? It might be Gallagher. Maybe it was like the circular one, and you would shoot inward. Okay, that might be Tempest actually. Yeah. 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 It's a vector. It's a vector monster. Yeah, that's one. That's it. That's yeah. it. That's one. Yeah. 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 We got to wrap up. But I'm sorry. I don't what about Pong? Pong? Yeah, that's a classic game too. I don't right? have a Pong yet. That might be the first one we're I ever played. We're going to have Hubert. We're going to have Hubert. Yeah. We're going to have Hubert, which I'm so excited about. That's worth the 10 bucks right there. Okay, there you go. So everybody. That's right. Step back. So come downtown. Come to the Old Town Walking Hall. And follow us on Facebook because we post updates about this journey along the way. Actually, I should mention that at the end too. We do have a separate Facebook page we just created for the arcade called Back to the Media Retro Arcade on Facebook. Oh, perfect. So we'll build that up. Yeah, so yes. we basically have two back to the media Facebook accounts, but the main one's the one with 20,000 followers. The new one's just started. We just started just yeah. for the arcade, just to post updates about the arcade. Yeah, and that makes sense. So, yeah. Good job, Justin. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. No, thank you. Thank you you so didn't much. have to listen to me this time. I Last did not. Last shows you had to listen to me. <laughs> now you don't have to listen to me. I appreciate it. I will be back tomorrow with a brand new episode of The Valley Today. It's The Valley Business. Today was top of Virginia Regional Chamber. I believe, I haven't recorded it yet as we're sitting here on Friday morning, but we're going to be talking with one of my favorite people, Bob Clater. I don't know that he even knows he's one of my favorite people. He recently was given the Lifetime Community Impact Award. I at the Greater Good Awards for the Top of Virginia Chamber a few weeks ago. And we're going to be joined by Carmuse Lyman Stone, who won Large Business of the Year. So we're going to learn a little bit about their businesses tomorrow, a few minutes afternoon. So meet me back here then.